Here we have a Pogonal Mermex Barbatus nuptial flight. See tens of thousands of elates taking to the skies right now. I've never seen this many before. Here comes the takeoff. See them all just swarming like crazy. Thousands of queens. I'm out of breath because I've been running and looking. There's about 10 colonies. I'm at my family land. There's about 10 colonies here. They're all doing this. It's the most crazy thing I've ever seen. I've never seen them swarm in such numbers. But yeah, this is insane. All right, so it's been about, let's say, I wanna say about 10 minutes since I recorded that initial flying video. And so there are queens every five feet, I would say. There's a queen here, a little further up the path. A lot of queens digging chambers here. Here's another queen that just landed right here. About to rip off her wings, it looks like. Um, but yeah, crazy flight. Biggest one I've ever seen in my life. It's like this for miles. All right, everyone, this is gonna be a five minute POV, first person POV of catching a Pogonal Mermix Barbatus Queens after a nuptial flight. So I already see one here digging. So that'll be our first one. Um, the flight was pretty big. Here's another one right here. So usually when they're in their holes, I just kind of pop the soil up and uh, grab them so I don't have to wait. Here's another one. So we're already at three. And we've been doing this for, I don't know, 30 seconds. Three, here's, looks like one on this grass. So this will be number four. Oh, number four. But yeah, um, the flight was huge. This is gonna be inside the video of the flight. This is just gonna be like an extra, I guess some more content and more commentary more or less of actually like what how I catch them I mean I've never seen um, the huge like congregations of elates where I'm collecting at now which is typical with Pogonum or mix um, so I kind of just have to walk and just look for chambers or them running out of the chambers it's not entirely that hard I mean it's hot as shit but aside from that if as long as you just stay hydrated Pretty common sense right there. You should be fine. So here's a chamber here. I haven't seen the queen run out, but I'll go ahead and just shovel. Oh, there she is. Right at the top. I'll go ahead and shovel it just to be uh, safe because I don't feel like waiting. Um, I'm not filling back in the holes because this is my own family's land. So it doesn't matter. Um, usually if you are collecting anywhere else, you want to make sure you leave it like you were never there. So you don't get in trouble or get a fine for disrupting the habitat. Anyways, I think we're at, I lost, I totally forgot to be counting. Um, I think this is gonna be number eight or nine um, already. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm honestly not gonna count. If someone wants to comment, uh, oh, well, this is crazy. We've got one, two, three, four chambers all next to each other. Um, oh, almost dropped the cup. So there's one right there. I'll cover that hole, cover that hole. Let's get this one out real quick. So there's three on the surface. Let's get the fourth one. All right, so here's one, two. I'm sorry if it's a weird angle. Three, and number four is around here somewhere. Well, she was, oh, four, right here. Um, right now, it's probably about, probably three o'clock. They flew, uh, uh, let's say, probably around 1.30, um, give or take. They, they're still flying right now, but the main takeoff that was featured with my commentary was about 1.30 p.m. Um, and it rained for context, the conditions, it rained 0.3 inches here yesterday at around 5 o'clock and then it rained overnight about an inch. So then this morning, the morning temp was 76, wind was 3 miles an hour, flight occurred with 8 mile an hour wind 
and a temperature of 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Obviously, it wouldn't be Celsius. Um, let's see. Usually, in this dry crap, I don't really find that many. I've been catching pogo here for the last six, seven years. Here's one. I used. I wasn't had. I didn't have the shovel earlier, uh, but since it's getting later, they're starting to dig deeper, and I don't. I don't have much time because there's a huge thunderstorm that's going to be rolling in here in about an hour and a half. And so literally whatever I can get is what all I'm getting because they're just going to get the chambers are just going to get washed away and it's going to rain for the next supposed to rain for the next week straight here. So it's rather limited. Um, but earlier was really easy pickings. I was just grabbing them off the surface. Real easy to see a bright red harvester ant running around. In the past I've had a lot of success in this area. Looks like here's one right here. It's already dead. Um, that happens. Usually sometimes spiders grab them. Although we're in an insane drought, this was actually the first rain here in almost 90 days. Hadn't rained here since May. So yeah, here's another dead one. These ones are probably actually cooking on the uh, on the ground because it's so hot. It's about right now. It's about 100. Feels like I couldn't even tell you what it feels like. These act, those actually might be drones. Some of them are wingless though, so um, probably feels like 110. But yeah. I mean, it's, we're kind of striking out in this area. They have, so oh, never mind, right as I say that. They have certain areas where they like to land, and every year it's different. So, in the power, I guess we're finding them now. So there's not really a colony that's back in this, this back pasture here. In that pasture, along the fence line, maybe I can come up to it, there's a big colony. And then further out in the field, there's another huge colony. So these queens are gonna be from, um, these colonies in these back pastures further out this way none there's not a colony in this pasture to my knowledge but here's a a few queens right here one oh i'm not gonna use the shovel two there's another one right here and three just don't know what count we're at still making pretty good time i try to aim I usually stop collecting whenever I get to a one queen every two to three minutes. That's too slow. So I'll stop collecting when I get to that ratio. But, or whenever I get too hot, I just call it a day. It really just depends on what I'm after. The pogos are super fun to collect, um, especially because you can collect them in the daytime. So it's super easy to find them. I like digging up honey pots too, but. There's nothing like watching a Pogo Marmex flight because it's a crazy spectacle. So is the honeypot flight, but I just, I like Pogos. Collecting Pogos. Honeypots are my favorite species, but collecting Pogos is just fun. Now, people in California will shit on me for saying that because Rugosis is the desert trash ant there because the chambers of Pogo Marmex and Myrmexistis look the exact same, pretty much. So you'll think you're, you found a bunch of honeypots and you're just digging up Rugosis. And Rogosis is, I mean, it's my least favorite of the two. There's a cool, there's a cool morph here in Texas that's kind of in North Texas. Well, north, north and west, it's kind of more of a bicolor orange versus the California ones are more of a black and orange. Bicolor, I mean black, black head thorax and orange gaster. California is more solid black with a little hints of orange. Um, we have the black one, we have solid black ones down south, like Laredo but I've never really been a fan of Rugosis and they're, it's weird, Rugosis Marbatus are real similar, similarly, <laughs> are real similar. I was gonna say similarly related, but that doesn't make sense. Anyways, but Rugosis are harder to found. Like Marbatus, I don't put anything in the tube, no substrate, no seeds, nothing. And I have success every year. With Rugosis, it's uh, the quite opposite. It's, I have to have substrate, like sand, um, what else? Sand, sometimes not sand, seeds, just a pain versus Barbados. I can just leave and, I mean, honestly, forget about them for a month, come back, and they've got workers. I usually keep mine about 85 degrees ish. And that gives you a work egg to worker time of about a month, plus or minus a few days. It just depends. Depends how long it takes for them to start laying. Usually, mine settle down after about. I don't know, two or three days they start laying, but yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. If someone can tell me how many queens I caught, that'd be great. Other than that, thank y'all for watching this, uh, this excerpt of the film, but yeah. All right, so that last segment kind of cut off. I really wanted to see, because I had originally set it to stop after five minutes, and it was still recording, and I felt like it had been longer than five minutes. And I wanted to make sure that I was actually videoing and not just talking to thin air. So it was eight minutes long. I'll keep it. And I'll go ahead and start another one just because might as well. Um, so here I'm in like a hot landing zone. That's what I like to call them. So there's a lot of Barbados chambers in this small area. One, two. I saw a few queens running up up there. So I'll go after those next. So I'm going to go ahead and put the shovel to these two because... Who likes waiting i'll go through them in a second and then i saw one right in this area i'll keep an eye on it my peripheral let me go ahead and grab these two queens oh yeah what i was saying about the barbatus and rugosis yeah rugosis just my opinion are they're a barbatus are cooler but they're they're literally the same ant just different you're just paying for different colors or keeping different colors um Let's see. But yeah, so I usually, every year I'm able to catch 100, 200 Barbados. It really just depends. This is a pretty big flight. I'm not going to be out here much longer. Um, as I mentioned earlier, that storm's coming and I'm hungry. So I'm going to dig up a few. Probably once I stop this clip, it's going to be the uh, end of me collecting them because I don't feel like walking for the rest of the day. Plus, this is about two hours away from my house-ish, I mean, hour and a half. And I wanna get back, cause there's a big thunderstorm rolling in too. So I wanna get back to light trap tonight. Uh, cause we haven't also had rain in so long. So I might get some, uh, I'd, be, I'd be shocked if uh, Kipthons Castaneus flew in town again. But I don't know, I just go out there and light just for fun past time because school starts in well school college junior year starts in uh what's today thursday starts in six days five days six days so i don't really i won't really have much time to do any and this will be the last anting thing i do this year well last collecting so i'm trying to savor it oh there's some more bananas right there there's a lot in this area there should be one in this dirt I just dug up. Oh, there it goes. But yeah. There was a Barbados queen that was right here, but she disappeared. Now there's one right there I dug up, but there's another one. I don't see where she went. Whatever. Oh, there's one digging right there. That's easy picking. Grab her. Just saw one in my peripheral. It's right here. Let's go dig this one. There it is. But yeah, so like I said, I'm wrapping this up soon. I don't really know what else I could talk about. That was loud. Um, I didn't really do all that much this season when it comes to collecting. Kind of just didn't, I don't want to say like took the season off. I caught, I mean, I caught like the standard ants, but like I didn't get anything new, but there's not much else really to collect that's new to me. I'm not trying to sound cocky, but I mean, I've been through damn near every inch of Texas and found almost everything that's worthwhile I mean some people want to keep like strumaginis or whatever and you know when the end is literally microscopic Queens like two or three millimeters or something I don't know someone can correct me it doesn't matter because I don't give a shit about that species um, no point in keeping them in my opinion um, the only ant that I haven't really kept 
for a long period of time is left the genies along Gata, uh, the cave ant. But that's because they're just isopod specialists. And I don't know, I've only really tried once and calling didn't do too well for me. So I never tried again. Yeah, once I get, let's do five more queens and then I'm calling it a day because it is hot. And I've already caught like probably a hundred, so. I don't know, someone, someone needs to comment how many queens I caught in this video. Just curious. Um, let's see if there's one in here. There it is. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it's been a kind of boring season, especially with all the droughts we've had in Texas. And I mean, I saw, I mean, in the last couple of weeks, California has been getting crazy stuff. I don't know if any of the Arizona people got anything cool this year. I know that they missed the out of flight, but I mean, what do you expect? I know they got acro though, but I don't think anyone caught out of Mexicana again, even though they're literally in the parking lot of a hotel. So is what it is. I'm passing up some chambers. I like to leave 